What's up, people? Let's jump into the second episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Season 3, episode 2, man. Let's go. Rat can kill a scorpion. Well, no shit, Frank, but we're not talking about a rat. We're talking about a little mouse. Shut up! Shut up! I don't care, man! We need to change things up. Let's just do something different. You know what, Charlie? You're right. The booze is the, com is the common denominator, man. <laughs> playing football it's right like there's no room to drink. Let's go back to the bar. Are you kidding me? Just give me the ball, dude. We're trying to practice. The Philadelphia Eagles? They're holding tryouts for the public. Like in that movie, Invincible. Was that the one where the guy from the New Kids on the Block makes it onto the Eagles? Yeah. I saw that. I think you know what we have to do. We are actually going to be running on the link. We will finally get to prove once and for all who's a better football player. I would like to join your little competition. <laughs> <laughs> You're a woman! <laughs> Women can't do things like this, you'll get hurt. I knew he would say that. I knew it, man. I knew it. There are plenty of other sports that women can try out for, yeah. like uh, uh, cooking and... Uh, Complaining to your to your friends about your boyfriend? Yeah. Do you not think the first thing they're going to do to weed people out is make you run? I could get so much further than both of you. We're never going to have to find out because she can't try out. We're going to tailgate the tryout. Huh? So you're going to bust out Green Man, bro? No, Green no Man. Green Man. No. What's Green Man? This is going to be exactly like Woodstock. Oh, are you planning on getting yourself locked in the bathroom of your cousin's Winnebago for three days? The memory haunts me. A Vietnam flashbacks for Franca. We are here with the Philadelphia Eagles and they are opening up their doors to us. I mean, this is a boy on dream. Uh, Yo, do NFL teams actually do this? Hold uh, tryouts for the public. Is this something they do or do they just uh, rely on the draft uh, system? Solely on the draft system. They must have like a, a lower league. Yeah, the, way, uh, the NBA has the G League, you know, and some players come from there. Some players drop, you know, and they can't hack it in the NBA. They go play in the G League and stuff. It's known for making really tough players. Players who come through the G League tend to be really tough, you know. Because um, these are people that have had to fight for their sport in the NBA. So they tend to be really tough. They can't just rely on talent like some people in the NBA. They, have, they actually have to be really, really really tough to make it through the G League and end up in the NBA so but I'm curious do NFL teams um hold public tryouts like this or do they just rely on drafting and combines I don't know how they get players maybe the drafting thing is a uh, is a basketball I don't know the margarita machine here is open for business time to relax what you're dropping acid <laughs> <laughs> He did that so casually, man. I believe that would have the complete opposite effect of relaxation for me. Well, I'm gonna trip balls. What's up? What the hell is this? The second that any part of your body touches that field, it's gonna shatter like glass. You got bones like glass. I don't have bones like glass. Your body's like 90% scoliosis, D. 90% <laughs> scoliosis. Then it's such a dick, man. Come on, let's get on the bus. Yeah, I love this, dude. This is based on love, man. Phase on Love. I love Phase on Love as an actor, man. I know he's a comedian. I haven't seen any of his comedy, but I know he, I really love him as an actor, man. Uh, it's a movie I watched as a kid. I used to watch a lot as a kid called uh, Mr. Bones. He was in that movie, and that shit made me laugh so much. I, you know, I've loved him since. I thought we were going to be playing on the link. You think you dipshit's going to play on the same field that champions play on? Or get your ass on the bus. Just say it one more time. They're leaving. Maybe they're having tryouts in a different place. All right, screw it, man. We're here. We'll just relax. Let's go follow that bus. Come on. Let's stop and follow the bus. Come on. Hey, man, stop smoking, will you? Some of us are trying to make the team. If you think you're actually going to make the Philadelphia Eagles, then you're pathetic. Then I'll be on the Eagles. And everybody in Philadelphia will know the name Mick Poyle. What'd you say your name is? Mick Poyle. It's definitely Yacht. Mick Poyle. There are so many of those people. Wow. So the, the Mick Poyle family is actually huge, huh? I didn't know. Huh, they're all just so out of it, man. <laughs> I bet like if the if if an if NFL teams actually do public trials, I bet they get a lot of psychos just showing up, thinking, just being delusional about their chances, yeah. That must be something that happens a lot, man. Stop bitching and set up. No, I'm not setting anything up, alright? 
Charlie just wants to chill, man. What are you doing, dude? Taking more ass. Thank you're making a classic mistake, girl. Yeah. Will you shut up and sit in your stupid chair? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. You kidding me, man? Come on, dude. You almost ran me up. Oh, my God. The McPoyle brothers. Hello, Charles. Dude, what? At least they, you know, they have clothes on for once. Sam's a part of Brother Doyle. He's gonna make the Eagles. He almost ran space. me over, man. You gotta move. move you gotta it move back. it back. Move it back. What can do? We need the space. The whole family's here. Oh, oh, yo. That's great. How many can there possibly be? Oh, good to see her again. They're like an inbred family, yeah? <laughs> They're like an inbred family, man. Nice to meet you, McPoyles. I don't want any of your shit, alright? So leave me alone, okay? We be cool. We're even now. Look at that guy behind them man the guy with the bald like <laughs> that an, that's an insane bald spot man just shave it all off bro damn the mcpoils man imagine the smell right there man bump it i'm not popping your fist bump it you know this calm on those hands just just a layer of i feel, I feel like this, this guy's just covered in like yeah just a layer of calm you know like you can't even touch them. You can't even bump into them. It's like, uh, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's calm, man. Hustle! Coach! Hi! Hi there, Cole. Cole Armstrong. Would you like us to stand when you address us, or do you prefer we take a knee? We're doing these trials for you! Because of your harassment! But he's in love, man. It sounds like he's about to just bust into tears, man. Like he's about to just break down. Dominic McNabb! Hey guys, uh, I play quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. You can too, if you start every day with a hearty breakfast from McDonald's. Available now for a limited time for under five dollars. You just came to do a fucking ad read, man. That was not Donovan McNabb. That was not Donovan McNabb. Yes, it was. It was like a McDonald's plug. Like, you know what? Splits! Oh. Splits! Damn it! I love face on love. Man, I wish he was in more stuff, man. I wish he was in more stuff. People confuse him with the uh, with uh, the really huge guy. Not big. Uh, not. Um, he's really huge. Huge black comedian with a funny shaped head. It goes like this. I don't know. People get, confuse him a lot with him. Uh, Faison man, he's a good, he's a good comedic actor, man, really good. He can do, he has range, but man, I've only seen him in comedy, comedy stuff, and uh, he kills it every time. Yes, it's making me feel like I gotta take a dump. That's what happens when you take a lot of acid, dude. Then go in the McPoyles camper, dude. I think I wanna hold it. How you feeling? Annoyed. It's not nothing kicking in yet. I did not take any acid, remember? I put a shitload of it in your beer. What? Yeah. Why would you do that? I don't want to be the only one tripping. Oh my god! Tripping. Pick a partner. Hidden drill. I pick Cole. Oh. I like your form on that, and yeah. I liked how you went before the whistle. Goddamn right. Nice. Let's pick new partners. Uh. Oh. A hidden's not really my thing, coach. <laughs> Spoken like a true champion. You just might make the team. Jesus Christ. These people are freak shows. Wait, wait. Better wash your hands. He's having that crazy trip, man. Same thing that happened to him back in the day is happening again. It's the Woodstock cast for Frank, man. No telling what kind of germs he's been yeah, Fuck germs, it's come everywhere. Starting to feel weird. He also made that mistake of, uh, this shit isn't kicking in, I'll take more. Man, my brother just leveled your boy out there. He's gonna make the Eagles. He's gonna talk at me? I'm gonna lose my shit. His skin's too tight. My skin's not tight. Run out and hook in. Show these people how to play football. My form is perfect. I'm like Jerry Rice. I've got the stride of a gazelle. My body is achieving a perfect symmetry right now. This can't be his internal dialogue, man. <laughs> I wonder if any women are watching from the sidelines. Pathetic. Holy okay. shit! Guess I'll be getting further than you after all. We gotta do something about this, dude. Let's go talk to Frank. Come on. I love seeing Danny DeVito's face up close like this. It's funny. I'm Artemis. I'm Dee's friend. Crawl into my mouth. Okay. 
And this is crazy. You are dancing with the entire McBoyle family. These people are freak shows, man. Green Man is saving your life right now, bro. Just go with the flow. Guess who got invited to training camp? Yeah, we're gonna be famous. Oh, Frank? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I standing right there. He's been trying to climb through that trash can for 20 minutes. Hmm. I'm pretty sure he's on acid. I think he took a dump in there. Can you give us a second? I don't miss his fine, man. All right, Frank, listen. Did you bring your gun today? I get close to D, all right? When she goes to punt the ball, I'll fire the gun. It'll startle her. She'll blow the kick. That lizard talks! Where? Where? I don't like lizards! I'm about to demonstrate to all of you my natural abilities as a punter. I like our guy voice. As a woman. Oh, that's right. I'm a woman. Wrap your minds around this. Oh! Women. <laughs> I'd like to go to the emergency room right now, please. So your bones are made out of glass. Yes. You just shattered you every bone. Holy shit, this thing is loaded. Have <laughs> shot my leg. A pack of hyenas, man. Look at that. That was nice, man. We got to meet the entire McPoyle clan, man. That's not even a family at this point. That's a that's a fucking clan, man. The McPoyle clan man they we met uh liam liam mcpoyle <laughs> the rest man the rest is huge he's huge man like a like an inbred uh hillbilly family man kind of see kind of shit you see on like wrong turn or something wrong turn the movie <laughs> man that was nice the gang goes invincible. I haven't seen that movie, so I know I know it was ref they referenced it a lot here, but uh, you know, still funny. But I wish I had the context because I'm sure they referenced a lot of things from the movie. They tend to do that. Um, good episode, solid episode. A uh, rank tripping was hilarious, man. You know. I'm just, I, I get, the idea of, uh, if you get high, you say if you smoke weed, yeah? sometimes you smoke, or maybe it's the strain, I don't know. Sometimes you smoke, you get all happy and chipper, and sometimes you, it gets dark. Sometimes it gets, you get depressed when you're high, you know. Sometimes it's super nice. And sometimes you're depressed, man. And um, I would hate to be depressed like on acid, man. I, I don't want it. Nah, it's scary. It scares me. Anyway, that was a really good episode. Uh, the gang goes invincible. If you guys enjoyed that, if you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, share. Check out my Patreon for early access to these videos. And I will see you guys and girls in the next one, man. Peace.